Imagine a future where robots don't just follow instructions, they learn faster than humans. It sounds like science fiction, but it's becoming a reality with the Tesla bot Gen 3. Elon Musk's latest innovation is turning heads by mastering up to 100 new tasks per day simply by watching YouTube videos. As Musk explains, if a humanoid robot can learn from videos the way humans do, the potential for rapid skill acquisition becomes practically limitless. This task adaptability sets the stage for a revolutionary shift in both home and industrial applications. According to Musk, humanoid robots could become Tesla's biggest product yet, and the demand, he claims, will be insatiable. At first, it might sound unbelievable, a robot that can cook, clean, repair machines, and even dance. But this is what Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 is beginning to demonstrate. In a recent demo, Optimus performed a wide range of household and industrial tasks, showing off its ability to act as an all-in-one assistant. It used a single neural network to vacuum, sweep, operate a microwave, sort factory components, and more, all from voice or text commands. The robot doesn't need overly detailed instructions, making it surprisingly easy to interact with. A major upgrade is Optimus's ability to use both hands simultaneously. Previously limited to one arm, the robot can now coordinate complex movements across both limbs, a significant leap in dexterity and motor control. Though its hands don't yet feature 22 degrees of freedom, this development suggests that once that hardware arrives, Optimus will be capable of even more precise and coordinated tasks. What makes this robot particularly powerful is how it learns. Rather than relying on traditional motion capture systems or remote teleoperation, Optimus learns by watching videos. Much like how people watch tutorials to learn new skills, Tesla Bot observes and then practices those actions in a simulated environment. For example, if it's learning how to cook steak, it watches a chef's video, then simulates the task millions of times, adjusting and improving until it reaches near-perfect execution. Once it achieves high accuracy in simulation, it transitions the task to real-world performance. There's also a hands-on teaching option for users. If someone wants to personally instruct Optimus, they can walk it through a task like ironing a shirt. The robot watches, tries the motion, and refines its technique based on corrections. Much like how a child learns through trial and error, Optimus improves from every mistake and saves that knowledge. Tesla applies the same learning model to Optimus as it does to its full self-driving system, feed the AI massive amounts of real-world data and allow it to learn autonomously. In self-driving cars, that means learning to navigate streets, in robots, it means performing chores or factory work with increasing sophistication. Optimus can now generalize what it learns from one context and apply it to others, meaning its learning curve is significantly steeper than traditional automation. Another game-changing feature is shared learning across units. When one Tesla bot learns a new task, that data is uploaded and shared across the entire fleet. So, if one robot learns to cook an omelette, every Optimus unit can perform the same task instantly. This shared intelligence creates a feedback loop that accelerates learning exponentially, unlike the linear learning curve of humans. In a Tesla factory, for example, once one bot figures out how to assemble a specific part, all others can follow suit, a massive leap in manufacturing efficiency. Currently, the tasks Optimus learns are relatively simple, wiping surfaces, using vacuums, sorting items. These actions are easy to replicate and don't require complex reasoning, making them ideal for rapid training. Tesla reports that Optimus has an onboard 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, allowing for roughly 8 hours of continuous operation, depending on the intensity of the tasks. Physically demanding jobs drain power faster than static or repetitive actions. Compared to humans, who take days or even months to master certain skills, Optimus's approach to learning is swift and standardized. While human workers differ in learning pace and quality, Optimus shares a common, uniform system, ensuring consistent performance across tasks. However, this learning method also raises safety concerns. People fear that if Optimus were exposed to harmful or illegal content online, such as instructions for sabotage or weapon use, it could pose significant risks. 
To prevent misuse, Tesla must implement advanced filtering systems to screen content before it's used for training. These systems could identify dangerous keywords, visuals, or actions and block them. Restricting Optimus's learning sources to vetted, official channels and approved content would also enhance safety. Tesla is known for its expertise in AI and security, so safeguarding Optimus's knowledge base will likely be a critical focus as development continues. Beyond safety, there's the question of profitability. Optimus isn't just a breakthrough in robotics, it represents a major economic opportunity. Think of a robot that can replace manual labor, optimize operations, and never takes a break. Restaurants, factories, retail stores, and farms could dramatically cut costs and increase efficiency by deploying Tesla bots. In hospitality, Optimus could handle everything from taking orders to cleaning, allowing businesses to operate with leaner staff while maintaining high service standards. It could even upsell customers using personalized data, something many human workers can't do consistently. In manufacturing, Optimus could be transformative. Its ability to operate non-stop with unmatched precision makes it a dream tool for production lines. Unlike stationary machines, Optimus can adapt and move, reducing the need to redesign factory layouts. It can inspect products, assemble parts, and predict mechanical issues before they happen. When connected to AI analytics, the robot could optimize the supply chain and suggest process improvements, making the factory not only faster and cheaper but also smarter. Retail and agriculture stand to benefit as well. Optimus could become a highly informed salesperson or inventory manager in stores. On farms, it could handle planting, harvesting, and monitoring crops, increasing yields without expanding labor. The home service industry also presents a huge opportunity, a robot assistant that cooks, cleans, and cares for the elderly could become a mainstream product. Startups may even launch Optimus rental services, offering hourly automation help to households and businesses. The demand could be massive. That said, Optimus is still in development. Tesla expects the robot to be ready for limited release by Q3 2026. The next year will be focused on refining hardware, improving reliability, and training Optimus to handle unpredictable, complex environments. Current demos often show sped-up video, so we're yet to see full-speed, unedited footage of the robot handling intricate tasks. That level of transparency will be crucial to build public trust in Optimus's true capabilities. Tesla has already made significant strides in movement and balance. Gone are the days when Optimus looked stiff or clumsy. It now moves more fluidly and can execute a growing list of household tasks. But mass adoption requires more. Tesla needs to ensure long-term durability, adaptable AI, and consistent performance across diverse scenarios. The upcoming year of refinement will be vital to meeting those standards. Pricing remains a topic of speculation. Elon Musk once hinted at a $20,000 price tag, but that's unlikely at launch. More realistic estimates place the cost between $40,000 and $50,000 initially, reflecting the challenges of scaling production and sourcing high-end components. Critical parts like motors, batteries, and sensors are still expensive and reliant on suppliers, many of them based in China, where logistics remain volatile. Musk suggests that a $20,000 price point could be achievable once Tesla reaches a production scale of 1 million units annually, possibly around 2029 or 2030. Until then, the higher price tag reflects both the complexity of the robot and the unique capabilities it offers. Tesla may begin its rollout by placing units with employees or public figures, generating buzz before ramping up broader availability, a strategy it used successfully with electric vehicles. Eventually, we may reach a point where robots build other robots. When that happens, Optimus could become as common in homes and workplaces as smartphones are today. The big question now is. What tasks should Optimus prioritize to have the greatest impact across industries? Could its ability to learn through video ultimately allow it to outperform humans in specific skill areas?